Santee Cooper, meeting the growing energy needs of the 21st century while protecting the environment and natural heritage of South Carolina through its innovative Santee Cooper Green programs. Santee Cooper Green presents Living Green. Santee Cooper celebrated Earth Day this year with a special dedication, the opening of the state's newest green power plant in Georgetown County. This brand new facility collects the dangerous methane gas given off naturally by the Georgetown County landfill and uses this combustible gas to power engines that generate electricity. Lonnie Carter, President and CEO of Santee Cooper. Today on Earth Day, we dedicated our fifth landfill gas unit uh, at uh, Santee Cooper and uh, uh, really enjoying the ability to take something that's a byproduct and, and turn it into a useful product. When you uh, build a landfill and you put all of the debris in it, it has a lot of different things. It has food, it has uh, all of your landscaping debris, and all of that decays and it decays at different rates. And whenever it's decaying, it emits this gas, methane. In the last 10 years or so, uh, the methane gas has become a big issue. Well, about, uh, about 10 years ago in realizing this, uh, a lot of the landfills were having to put in gas systems where they would flare off their gas. So we got involved with it. We said, hey, if this is a gas that you're going to flare or you're going to waste, then we would like to be able to take this and, and make energy with it, make electricity with it. Santee Cooper was the first utility to generate renewable energy in South Carolina beginning in 2001 with a landfill generating station at the Horry County Landfill. We take our renewable energy and we offer it to our customers on a voluntary basis as green power and that's been a great program for us. Our electric cooperatives have supported this and all of our wholesale customers. We sell that power every dollar we collect we use in return back into renewable projects. So that's been a, a great thing for us and these landfill gas units like this one we've uh, dedicated today are the basis of that program. What we like about this type of generation is you can use it on peak. Solar is great, but you only have solar when the sun shines. You only have the wind power when the wind blows. But with this, the methane gas is being released all the time. So you can actually generate this all the time. You can generate it 100% of the day. So it means that you have it on your peak. So in the wintertime, we would have a peak at night, say at eight or nine at night. Well, if you had solar, you had wind, you may not have that, but you always have this energy. And, and we need that energy more at peak than we need in time because that's when people use the most, the most energy. So, so if you look at it for as being a renewable, it's by far the, the best for us to be able to manage into our uh, portfolio of, of generation. Cell Hemingway, Georgetown County Administrator. This is a, a monumental day in, in, in our efforts here to provide a, a, a landfill operation that is sensitive to the environment and being able to work with our partner in Santee Cooper to uh, convert it into a renewable energy source, uh, in this case electricity, is, uh, is beneficial uh, in many ways. And certainly they had the expertise as well as the resources to make the initial investment to put the generating station in and then, and then work with a, uh, an acceptable financial arrangement and management arrangement to go forward for the next 20 years to, to manage the project and to derive the benefits of, of the generation of electricity from the gas itself. I really appreciate what our, our management team, our project management team and all the contractors that helped and everything what we've done to put this together. And it's a lot like what we did with the wall board, with the American GIP. Uh, it's, it creates jobs, uh, it, it, it saves money, it uh, helps the environment, and, and what a better Earth Day project. Watch for more innovations and exciting new programs as Santee Cooper moves forward with its commitment to generate 40% of its energy by 2020 from non-greenhouse gas emitting resources, biomass fuels, conservation, and energy efficiency. For more information about this and other programs designed to help you live green, visit SanteeCooperGreen.com. And to get more information on energy efficient initiatives and rebates, visit ReduceTheUse.com. Living Green from Santee Cooper Green.